back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new sims 4 renovation video today and so today we are back better than ever with a brand new speed build in the sims 4 of willow creek with doing a base game only renovation which is wild because i normally don't do base game homes that often but i thought to myself if i'm going to make a save file might as well go ahead and make a couple of base game houses in different worlds to diversify you know what's going around in you know the different neighborhood because if you didn't know the sims 4 did a patch update a while back ago where they added like sub neighborhoods and i had a really cool idea of diversifying and adding different families in different sub neighborhoods with their own different backstory because i get all my storytelling inspiration from the sims 2 of pleasant view most likely and i was thinking what if i made my own little drama you know series or like drama series save file in willow creek and the other neighborhoods where they're all kind of connected in a way by one or a few pacific sims that kind of are a little bit messed up in the head and and you have commitment issues like don Othario, he is not going to be in the save file but he'll be like an npc roaming around causing trouble with the calientes but i'll have my own quote unquote don Lothario, daniel pleasant you know stuff like that to make it interesting and i have this one sim that i already created his name is randy and um randy's not a good person to really associate with if you want to like understand who randy is i will leave a link down below in the description to the speed build that i did talking about karen randy you know having the affair with the secretary all the different stuff that video is linked down below and it's actually the house right next door to this house that i'm renovating right now and that house is also base game only and I might update it a little bit because we did get a few new things that came with base game that I want to add in that house. And I want you guys to leave me some comments down below if you guys want me to actually do some houses that don't have much of furnishing in it. Where it's like, a, you know, a starter home, but with like the basic necessities like the kitchen, the bathroom, and that's pretty much it where your sims could just automatically move in with starter furniture and like kind of build up their own little humble abode as they gain enough simoleons. Cause I know Sim Lissy, who's a good friend of mine has done the same thing for her own save file. And I thought that was a really cool idea because some sims are broke, like all of my sims, or some sims are going to off to university and they graduate with not really a lot of simoleons in their bank account. And I think it's kind of a good way to kind of start them off with a starter home with the basic necessities while they're looking for a job or freelancing or, or whatever, basically. And I definitely want to do that, but I want you guys to let me know what you think about that idea. And if you guys want to download this house for yourself or your own Sims, it is up on the gallery for download. My origin ID is Spring Sims, and also under the hashtag Spring Sims, it's base game only, so you do not have to worry about any other packs, no custom content, no nothing, just base game only. And you know, I have to give a shout out to um my good old friend Dr. Ashley. Dr. Ashley, I don't think she's watching this video, but if she is hi but dr ashley's a really talented builder and she was on the sim spark show with me and some other amazing simmers along with sim Lissy. and she builds a lot of amazing builds especially like some base game builds because when she first started out like doing youtube i was like "Ooh, she makes base game houses look so good and I just want to like applaud her and just like thank her for the inspiration of making base game houses look interesting because when you look at her houses phenomenal and then you look at my houses they look like a toe but you know Dr. Ashley has taught me a few things here and there of making base game houses look good in the sims with you know adding some decor clutter good landscaping and trying different things that I haven't tried before which is good which is a good thing and so I was going to add a second bedroom to this house, but I realized that when building it, I wanted to keep it the same exterior and interior, mostly the same interior of the house where the layout of is the same, even though I did add a uh, bay window to the bedroom. 
And I also added a extra bathroom to the house because I think, you know, when your sim is just moving in or you have a couple of sims hanging out at your house, I think it'd be kind of a good way to add a second bathroom because you don't want them to be using your main bathroom when they could use the guest or, you know, the second bathroom next to the entrance area because, like I said, you don't want people to use your personal bathroom. That's your own personal oasis, your own personal space to, you know, relax and, uh, you know, chill and brush your teeth and wash your face and other things. But hey, this sim will have a great time. And I don't really have a specific idea of who's going to live here, actually. Wait, hold up. I think I actually do because I have a Google Doc link of, um, of my save file called the PTA and it's kind of hilarious when you think about it because I have this amazing idea or like I had this amazing idea in my stream many, 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 many months ago. And I was thinking, what if I actually made a save file where it was like the PTA of like Willow Creek or the PTA of Oasis Springs or like a certain, you know, sub like area of the area, you know? And a lot of you guys actually really loved that idea. And so I went along with it. And so it's funny because the big house to like the left of the build is actually where Karen, <laughs> Karen and her kids, Kyle and Kelly live, which is kind of funny when you think about it. So she lives next door to like this person. And I believe that her name is going to actually be Susan. So, um, Susan Petty lives here and she has one kid named Tessa and she likes to be rich and bougie and even though she's like rich and bougie she doesn't really want to technically um do all the things and right now Susan is having a bit of a uh, a dispute a more so of a divorce dispute with her husband named Brian and they don't live together but they have a uh weird relationship like they stay married but they don't live with each other they only do it for the aesthetic of like oh we live here we live there da, 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 da. and like even though this is like susan's second home like she has two houses here in willow creek but in like this sub neighborhood but she also lives in the other neighborhood in willow creek where the pancakes live in like that general area but she's thinking of actually selling that house and live near the goth household and so i think what i'm gonna do is actually build her second home or her first home that she currently lives in with her husband brian and also her child tessa who has a trust fund which is wild and so i'm gonna be building that house next for my save file and best believe when i say karen carol greg susan and sarah these oh oh and todd and Bo. Todd and Bo, all these people in this sub section of this neighborhood, they are wild. And so there are only five lots in this neighborhood. So it's Karen, Greg, Carol, Sarah, and uh, Todd and Bo. And Carol is technically renting this place. And it's like, it's weird because she only rents the place only for the sole reason is that when she previously was like having an affair with some other people with the PTA because she is the PTA vice president of you know Willow Creek which is not great she technically likes to have um a bit of status and so she talked to Susan saying hey I know things aren't going so well but would you be okay if I rent rented out your house like an Airbnb like my second you know area that I can hang out in and like chill for a minute because like even though that that Susan doesn't live in the house she needs someone to live in there to think that someone lives there like it's her own house which it is but you know you got to keep the status going and Karen I mean Carol is technically the v VIP or the vice president of the PTA Susan is a secretary and then Greg is a treasurer Karen is the president Sarah she's just there she's just there they, they they don't like her she's a bit of a try hard like when you think about it sarah sarah mcgregor she's artistic she's a stylish influencer she's trendy 
as well as minimalistic. But she got kicked out as a teenager for having a teen pregnancy while having Caden, which is her son. And uh, Stephen and Caden burst by, uh, were burst, and Kayla was adopted. So, like, she has three kids, two by birth, one adopted. Uh, Caden is actually a little bit of a rebel and a ladies' man. He's only a child. He's only 10 years old. But, honestly, it's like Sarah would, like, to volunteer for, like, like, in my mind, I feel like Sarah would volunteer for, for, for classes. Like, she is a subject uh, for a bikini wax or a beauty school for haircuts. And she tries way too hard to be, like, the best of the best. And she's not doing so hot. And she's also a widow. So she has, like, three kids and she's a widow. And she tries too hard to fit in. And so she's like a freelancer, career artist. Like that's why she's a stylish influencer, but she's also German and Italian. So she does things to get approval from other people. And all her life, she never felt like she was like wanted or she didn't feel like she was good enough. And so she tried really, really hard to be the person that everyone thought she should be you know you know what I mean like it's it's very weird anything about it but it's like who she is and it's the way she tries to be but evidently Todd and Bo they try to help her here and there but she doesn't want really, really want the help but they're there to help when it's needed and that's pretty much it for uh this sub neighborhood of the Willow of Willow Creek in this area and I'm going to be making a bunch of like sims for the save file and not all of them will actually live in the houses i build most of them will be empty um but have like the bare necessities that you need like the kitchen the bathroom stuff like that but the majority of them will be like ready to move in houses and um i'm just really really happy about the save file because even though i'd have like the bare you know ish of the of the world when it's done like fully done because i hear me out i do want to like complete it but i don't know if i want to complete it all the way through where you're waiting like a whole year but i think when i'm completely done with it what i'm gonna do is put the google doc link and like show you how much detail there is in every single sim and every single neighborhood but you know that being said i it's a lot. It's a roller coaster. It's a lot of drama, but you know, I'm here for it for The Sims. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, have a lovely day, and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!